How much is new Bachelor host Jesse Palmer worth? Is Tasha Adams raking in the cash? Or is Dr. Travis Stork the wealthiest of them all? The richest Bachelor stars might surprise you. Hannah Brown quickly made a name for herself as a contestant on The Bachelor before leading her own season on The Bachelorette, as her candor made her a fan favorite. She has upwards of 2.5 million followers on Instagram as of early 2022. Plus, she even won season 28 of ABC's hit competition show, Dancing with the Stars, which allowed her to rake in $300,000 for snagging the mirror ball trophy. But Brown didn't always have cash on hand. She told Marie Claire that before The Bachelorette, she had $70 sitting in her bank account. But since her days of starring on national television, Brown now has a net worth of about $1.5 million. Trista Sutter was the first woman to ever be the Bachelorette, and she was swept off her feet by firefighter and former football player Ryan Sutter. As noted by Celebrity Net Worth, Ryan had played football for the Colorado Buffaloes and the Baltimore Ravens. He was already a major catch, and now the former athlete reportedly has a net worth of around $2 million. The Sutters quickly became the poster couple for the Bachelorette, and the two seem just as much in love now as they did back in 2003. Ryan has been in the news lately as his health took a serious detour. During Trista's podcast, Cast better, etc., the couple revealed that Ryan was diagnosed with Lyme disease as a result of the toxins he was exposed to as a firefighter. He said about his condition, It seems to be that what happened is that my immune system was weakened through exposures to toxins and especially to mold. Some of the wealthiest contestants from the Bachelor franchise have been both contestants and leads, just like Jillian Harris. Harris was a contestant on The Bachelor in 2009 and then went on to star in The Bachelorette. Harris ended her season engaged to Ed Swiderski, but the two were not meant to last. Speaking to Us Weekly in 2021, Harris revealed, "...it's been almost 10 years since I've been on the show and so most of the PTSD is gone. It was such an incredible experience, even if it wasn't successful. I wouldn't change it for a thing." Harris went on to have a successful career in television following her stint on The Bachelorette, and she primarily turned her attention to interior design. She hosted Love It or List It Vancouver and Handyman Challenge and made several appearances on HGTV Insider and Jillian and Justin. She is currently engaged to Justin Pasu and has a net worth of $3 million. If there is one person who has truly made the most since her time of being the Bachelorette, it's Caitlin Bristow. Bristow ended her season with an engagement to Sean Booth. Bristow and Booth eventually called it quits, but that didn't stop her from thriving. Bristow is the creative source behind the podcast Off the Vine, and she is the founder of two businesses, Spade and Sparrow's Wine and Do Edit. She was the winner of season 29 of Dancing with the Stars, for which she reportedly took home almost $300,000. Plus, she returned to ABC to co-host The Bachelorette alongside Tasha Adams. According to Cosmopolitan, Bristow reportedly took home about $100,000 for starring on The Bachelorette. And while it's unclear exactly how much she's making as a host, it's safe to assume that the salary is more than competitive. Bristow reportedly has an approximate net worth of more than $3.5 million. When Ari Leyendijk Jr. was announced as the leading man of The Bachelor in 2017, Bachelor Nation was surprised, and some of us didn't even know who he was. It had been quite some time since Leyendijk had competed on Emily Maynard's season of The Bachelorette in 2012, so choosing him seemed like an odd choice. But Leyendijk's season was anything but boring, especially when he left then fiance Becca Kufrin for Lauren Burnham. Leyendijk has since married his second choice. While Leyendijk and Burnham may not have been Bachelor Nation's favorite couple when they got engaged, Aged, they seem to have won over the hearts of many since. Plus, their three kids are seriously cute. Proving that their love is stronger than ever, Leyendijk gifted his bride a new engagement ring worth upwards of $350,000. As a successful realtor, former race car driver, and social media savvy dad, it's no wonder that Leyendijk is worth a pretty penny. As reported by Celebrity Net Worth, the former bachelor is worth $4 million. When Claire Crawley got engaged to Dale Moss mere episodes into her season, the creative minds behind The Bachelorette needed a new plan. They turned to Tasha Adams to save the day. Adams had been a contestant on The Bachelor, and she even made an appearance on Bachelor in Paradise, sparking a romance with none other than John Paul Jones. Taking over from Crawley as The Bachelorette, she didn't disappoint. It is a roller coaster of emotions, but in the best way. 
Adams got engaged to Zach Clark at the end of her season, then returned to ABC as a co-host of the franchise alongside Caitlin Bristow. As for how much she's worth, the exact number is unknown, but Adams made somewhere between $7,000 and $15,000 from Bachelor in Paradise. Then, she likely made a six-figure salary as the franchise's leading lady following Crawley. Between brand deals on social media and the paycheck she's collecting from being co-host of the show, Cosmopolitan estimates that Adams is now worth anywhere from $1 million to $5 million. The success rate of the Bachelor franchise may be questionable, but Emily Maynard took advantage of the opportunity. For instance, Maynard reportedly negotiated her contract with ABC and landed a $250,000 paycheck for being season 8's Bachelorette. When her season ended, she was engaged to Jeff Holm, but the two broke up following the show. Speaking to People, Maynard explained, "...I wanted that love so bad, I felt like there was something wrong with me if I couldn't make it work. But I look back now and see that the times I felt the lowest, God was still there for me, planning something better than I ever could have imagined." Maynard finally found her fairy tale after the show, when she rekindled a romance with her old friend, Tyler Johnson. Plus, she's reportedly worth $5 million, according to Celebrity Net Worth, so everything worked out in the end. Dale Moss, the ex-fiancé of Claire Crawley, has an impressive net worth, and most of it didn't come from the franchise. In fact, it was Moss's prior career in the NFL that boosted his income. Moss once played for the Chicago Bears, the Green Bay Packers, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and the Carolina Panthers, so it's safe to say that his athletic career assisted in making him millions. Moss became a Bachelor Nation household name due to his whirlwind on-again, off-again relationship with Crawley that initially ended in a rushed on-screen proposal. Bachelor Nation Nation's Dean Unglert and Jared Haben even shared their thoughts on the couple during an episode of their podcast, Help, I Suck at Dating. Unglert said, "...Dale, I feel like, was never fully invested in the relationship. He got very bad press. I think he wants to get into hosting, and with that kind of negative press around you, you're not going to get any of those jobs. But as Moss is worth about $5 million, he is probably set for now." When host Chris Harrison left The Bachelor under controversial circumstances, people wondered who would replace him. When it came to The Bachelor, the franchise turned to Jesse Palmer, the leading man of season 5 who ended his season in a relationship with Jessica Bolin. Sadly, the couple's romance wasn't meant to be, but Palmer was such a hit with producers that they called on him when Harrison left the show. Thanks, it's been a good year, it's been a good year. Palmer went on to marry Emily Fardo in June 2020 in an intimate, COVID-safe ceremony. And only adding to the good news, it was announced that Palmer would be hosting the reality dating series for season 26. That gig alone will probably come with a hefty salary, but for now, Palmer is worth around $8 million per celebrity net worth. Ed Swiderski had a very tumultuous time within the Bachelor franchise, including stints on The Bachelorette and Bachelor Pad. And at one point, he even found himself engaged to season 5's Jillian Harris. However, the relationship between Harris and the technology consultant fizzled out over time, and like many franchise relationships, the two called it quits. By the time 2015 rolled around, Swiderski found himself married to Fox 32 news anchor Natalie Baumke. In an interview with People, Swiderski revealed that he saw Baumke on television working as an on-air a reporter and took to Twitter to introduce himself. The bold move paid off because the pair tied the knot in front of a hundred people in a gorgeous wedding atop the Tribune Tower in Chicago. Swiderski told People at the time, "...I feel like the luckiest man on earth." According to Celebrity Net Worth, Swiderski's days on reality television and his career in tech netted him a cool 10 million. When Travis Stork was chosen as the franchise's eighth bachelor, there was most definitely a doctor in the house, and an impressive one at that. Stork was a magna cum laude graduate from Duke University and then went on to get his medical degree from the University of Virginia. From there, he went to the medical center at Vanderbilt University to complete his emergency medical training and subsequently ventured to Colorado where he worked as a physician. So to say that Stork is the real deal is an understatement. The next thing you know, I'm literally in Paris as the bachelor. When it came time for him to lead The Bachelor franchise's season 8, he found love with contestant Sarah Stone. Sadly, the pair ended up calling it quits. Since then, Stork has gotten married to Paris Bell, appeared on The Dr. Phil Show, and hosted The Doctors. He has a net worth of $12 million as a result. Prince Lorenzo Borghese was the franchise's ninth bachelor, and he caught the attention of pretty much every contestant and viewer. He ended his run on the show dating winner Jennifer Wilson, but the pair didn't last. 
Borghese then turned to his runner-up, Sadie Murray, and the two started their love affair up again. But that love was not built to last either, because after just a couple of months together, the pair ended their relationship. Borghese went on to star on Celebrity Big Brother UK in 2012, but has kept a relatively low profile since. He may have started to rely on his educational background after getting his MBA from Fordham University, or maybe he's just living life as a prince. It's difficult to say, given that his Instagram account is private, with only around 6,200 followers. But celebrity net worth has him set at 50 million, so he seems to be doing all right. When you're the leading man of The Bachelor, chances are you have a lot to offer. And for Andrew Firestone, that included the inheritance to a multi-billion dollar company. Andrew Firestone of the Firestone Tire franchise family was season three's Bachelor. He popped the question to Jen Sheft at the end of his run. Unfortunately, the couple called it quits about 10 months after getting together, but Firestone has had nothing but nice things to say about the franchise. Speaking to Us Weekly, Firestone revealed that while he met and married his now wife without any cameras involved, he still believes in the goal of the show. He explained, it's all about rolling the dice on love and taking a chance. You put yourself out there knowing that it's a long shot. But God, when it works, it's so good. The former Bachelor is now married to model Ivana Firestone, and the couple has three kids together. So you could certainly say that things worked out well for him. And as a bonus, he just so happens to be worth $50 million, according to Celebrity Net Worth. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.